Hi, this is Paul. A little update on things at the church. Things have gotten wild if you're watching the news about weather in California. Yeah, so Sunday morning I got up early. It was all quiet in the house. Everything was, I had a wonderful night's sleep, woke up, stumbled around, realized, oh, I don't have any power. So then I thought, oh, I wonder if the church has power. So threw some clothes on. Drove towards church, just a few blocks, couldn't get very far. Noticed that all these power lines were down and the roads were closed. And then I got into the church parking lot and it looked like, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> some of these trees were my friends, as Jared said. He was a little boy when he climbed these trees. Well, the, the wind was so bad Saturday night, they just, two of these trees that were next to the fence that fences off the parking lot to the playground and back just blew down and pulled the fence up with them it was really amazing the power that that these things have and and then i walked then i walked towards the end and realized uh oh this is why the power lines i wondered because i was actually thinking that morning yeah those power lines on florin road they're really strong we'll probably have power at church and we have this massive redwood that was sitting inside and it fell towards the road and that's what caused all the power line damage and the tree was blocking off half the road so the road was closed and then i went out and sure enough it, it was amazing that the the top of the pole was was sheared off and was sitting in the middle of the roadway now of course i had to kind of scooch under those power cables which probably wasn't the brightest thing but it's the only way I could get to church so yeah uh, there was and then I realized that in fact that huge massive power line was sitting and resting on top of the street lamp and the street light the street light's still out they've got floor and road cleared now and yeah you have to figure out where I was standing to take this picture <laughs> And there it is from across the street. And yeah, it's just a, there's the tree that took out the fence, took out the power line, took out the telecom wires and just massive damage. But we were really super fortunate in that none of the buildings got struck. And yeah, lots of blue skies then. I went out and took a few more pictures. We still had power at church, but we had to cancel church because yeah you really couldn't get to church because of the floor and road was and then people start scooching around <laughs> which was quite something to watch but yeah yeah that's and there there's again the pole right in the middle of the road pretty amazing so yeah there it is again it was a little bit lighter after i'd sent out all the emails eventually power crews came out and Started working on it. They worked on it all day through Sunday. This is one of our trees that is leaning. It's more leaning towards, not really quite leaning. It looks like it's leaning towards the street, but I hope that one doesn't give way or the, the power company won't be real happy with us doing it, doing it twice. But we're supposed to have another storm. We've just got storms lined up. Um, local TV news affiliate, found that you know we were we were good for some dramatic footage so you can see the uh the fallen tree from the air the news affiliate couldn't figure out we were a church i guess we really need a steeple and a cross on it to help them figure it out but they were they were all fascinated by this got lots of good pictures i'll put the link both to the google that that one tree that one tree to the left is the tree that fell this one right here that's the tree that fell New Year's Eve. And this is the tree that broke off then Saturday morning. You can see it covered a good bit of the road and it took out um, took out the cable. This is this is our education building here. It's another education building. The um, as they zoom out, um, they're just zooming in there. Uh, let's see. It's it's really kind of really kind of grateful for them. They they'd taken the thing. To, really kind of grateful for them to give us these nice aerial shots of the church. Oh, I got someone at my door. Well, I just had a guy come by and he uh, said he wanted wood, and that's a little that's a little uh, alligator that 
somebody who used to work at one of the child care centers here decided to make with some extra cement over there and the, the kids always liked it but it gives you a good yeah there's the pole that got sheared off um but the guy wants wood. I said, oh, you want wood. I got wood. Take all you want. So he's going to he's gonna take as much of it. As, there's, there's a good aerial shot of the church. So the um, you can see over here, this is the roof damage that we had. You can see those spots. There's some spots up on the top ends over there. That's the newer of the two education buildings. There's the tree that fell. This is the tree that fell on, on New Year's Eve. Um, and yeah so yeah that's the that's the executive airport that's nearby so yeah there's the tree that fell on new year's eve so yeah um <laughs> these things happen so yeah um we'll uh i'll keep you up to date like i said we'll you know hopefully the roof damage won't be too bad mm -hmm. and um yeah, a few few little building projects here around Livingstones. So if we if we do need some volunteers to to help take some of this wood or chop it up or something like that, um, I'll put out the call. We'll probably have some of our local meetup guys and um, and we've had people come in and we'll have a have a little party on a Saturday. Bring your chainsaw and we'll we'll chop all this stuff up. One of the guys in church has a splitter and we'll chop and split as much as we can, depending on what that guy takes. So. Yeah, just a little update for you. I thought some of you might be interested.